In this video, we will show a simple RFID reader system that you can try at home with commercially available development boards. RFID, or Radio Frequency Identification, is an important tool that makes our lives more convenient. You may find RFID technologies in subway tickets, electronic payment, inventory management, and much more. Before we hop in the hardware setup of the RFID reader, let's briefly discuss the working principles of a typical RFID system. An RFID reader reads the information in an RFID tag that is placed at the vicinity of the reader. The tag is small enough that it can be attached to things like your ID card or keychain or can even be made as a sticker. Information in the tag is carried by radio frequency waves or RF waves. For common applications, the frequency is 13.56 MHz in the high frequency band and the communication range is around 10 cm. Another interesting feature is that most common RFID tags do not require batteries. That being said, the energy that powers the tag is actually provided by the reader. This kind of tag is called passive tags. A passive tag consists of an antenna coil to pick up radio waves and an IC chip that stores some information and sends out information if required. Although the RFID tag cannot complete complicated tasks alone, the tag can be used to trigger more complex functions in the reader. Let's take a look at the equipment we are using in this experiment. Here we have an Arduino Uno development board, a MFRC522 RFID reader chip, a laptop, a digital oscilloscope, a probe cable, a blank RFID card, and a student ID card. The Arduino Uno acts as a data processor and a communication hub between the MFRC522 RFID reader and our laptop to show reading results on the screen. The Arduino Uno is one of the most commonly available development boards and is easy to learn. You can run projects that are easily found on the internet or build your own programs. The functionalities of the Arduino can be expanded by attaching the main board with expansion boards. In order to read RFID tags, we need a board that can actually detect the radio waves. Therefore, we choose MFRC522 because it is cheap and works at the 13.56 MHz RFID frequency band. As we can see here, this coil on the reader board acts as an antenna to receive and transmit radio waves. We will hook up the MFRC522 board to our Arduino Uno board with the wiring as shown in the manual. Now, we will connect the power cable of the Arduino to the laptop. After the boards are powered up, we would like to demonstrate how to check the transmit frequency of the RFID reader board. Electrical engineers often use oscilloscopes to measure the voltage across electronic elements. We will demonstrate how to measure the frequency of radio waves with this oscilloscope. Let's take a look at the connection cable. One side of this cable is a BNC connector that connects to the oscilloscope and the other side is usually used to clamp on the electronic element to measure the voltage. Apart from typical usage, we will make the cable probe act like a receiving antenna. This can be done by connecting the alligator clips together and form a loop. Now, we will hook up the BNC connector of the cable to one of the channels of the oscilloscope. This testing setup will be used to check the operating frequency of the RFID reader. We will place the probe loop close to the RFID reader. We can see that the radio signals have been received by our oscilloscope. 
The amplitude of the waveform on the oscilloscope will change if we move the loop closer to or farther from the reader. If we take a closer look at the oscilloscope screen, we can see that the received frequency is close to 13.56 MHz, which is the specified frequency of the MFRC522 reader. Now, we are going to read RFID cards with the reader and show the results on the laptop. We will use the Arduino development environment to write programs onto the Arduino Uno board and display results in the console. The library we are using here is the MFRC522 library, which you can install via the Arduino Library Manager. Click on Example, find MFRC522 and the Dump Info button in the drop list. This example will show us the information of the RFID tag that was read by the MFRC522 board. After we write the program onto our Arduino board, we can place our blank RFID card close to the MFRC522 reader. If we open up the Arduino console now, we can see that a bunch of information have been interpreted and displayed on the screen. Now, you may wonder what is the meaning of all this information. Let's take the MyFair Classic 1K by NXP Semiconductors as an example. The 1K here means that it holds one kilobyte of information. The data will be split into 16 sectors, as we can see here. Sector 0, block 0, contains open access information about the IC manufacturer data and also the UID or unique identification that is assigned to each tag. If the UID in an RFID tag is recognized as an identification of a person, applications such as access control can be achieved. When an RFID tag gets close to the reader, a lot of information can be read out. Does that mean our information such as transaction records or balance can be seen by anyone with a reader? Let's try reading the information inside a student ID card. A student ID card may hold access control to rooms, contactless payment balance for bicycle rental and buying things. Therefore, there is a decent amount of personal information that the ID holder does not wish to disclose. When we place the student ID card close to the reader, the only information we can see on the console is the UID. Transaction records and balance cannot be seen without proper decryption passcodes. In fact, most information in RFID cards are encrypted and cannot be accessed without permission. This concludes our demonstration video. I hope that you have learned some basics of the RFID technology.